To teach a child just to handle himself one-on-one -on -one is not a practical means of self-defense. Unfortunately, out on the street today, in and out of school, the violence has made the odds against the children greater than ever. In many cases, we are teaching the skills or instilling the confidence in the kids for basic survival. of Kempo Karate. Size and sex are not barriers. A woman can master the art of self-protection as effectively as a man. Tear gas, personal weapons, and alarm devices may make headlines, but self-confidence is the real answer to avoiding an attack. Self-confidence, the knowledge that should a life-threatening situation arise, you can defend yourself. Here, Amanda defends herself against two male attackers, Sergio and David. Watch her. She's developed an alertness that has given her an extraordinary range of visual and auditory sensitivity. She actually perceives the approach of danger before it strikes. Her blocks fend off almost every blow. I try to teach the kids that not only are they responsible for their own actions, but occasionally they may be forced to deal with the irresponsible actions of others. Through their martial arts training, they adopt not a false sense of security, but rather a positive attitude gained by hours of physically demanding study. This is one-on-one -on -one combat with Kevin and Elliot. They're two of the older kids in the class and both exhibit a skillful mastery of the art. These guys are 12 and have been studying Kempo Karate for only one year. Watch the technique and intense concentration of these fine young athletes. that boards and bricks do not attack people, but yet board breaking is an integral part of our training program. Why, you ask? Well, it's extremely important that when a child or any individual learns the martial arts, that he also learns what it's like to hit an object. Hitting an object trains and gives them even further confidence over that of their physical abilities. As you'll notice, this board is in this manner and what we try to do is to think of the board as being the target and to hit about an inch to two inches beyond that so that there's penetration. Secondly, we must also be aware of the fact that there should be proper body alignment so that the wrist 
will not be involved in a sprain. We also want people to realize that if a board was taken away and your ribs were in place of it, just think what would happen to the rib cage. If in this particular case I was to chop and break these boards, just think what would happen if your neck was in its place. There is a hidden strength within each of us. These boards represent a method in which one can find that energy and tap it. At first glance, these boards, like a physical threat, can weaken self-confidence. That piece of wood is quite an obstacle to overcome. Through proper physical and mental conditioning, however, the board can be broken. with my students and know just when one of the boys or girls is ready for the board breaking. We've had an excellent safety record, but under no circumstances should a youngster attempt to break a board without the proper training and supervision. This can be very dangerous and lead to painful and severe injury. class, they've learned they can walk away from a fight or confrontation, not out of fear for themselves, but because they were afraid for the bully. The confidence gained by the breaking of boards and other physical and mental achievements lets them walk away with dignity. As one becomes proficient in the martial arts, he's tested go up to the various belt levels indicated here on the chart. He starts off as a white, goes to yellow, to an orange, purple, blue, green. Then he goes to three levels of brown, third, second, and first, in that order. Then he goes from first to tenth degree, black belt, tenth being the highest master of the martial arts. We have these various colors within the white belt category because we feel it's extremely important that we have short-term goals, especially for the children, so that it gives them a little incentive to see a, a particular goal to its very end. It normally takes about two and a half years to become a brown belt and about four years to become a black because it takes a number of years to come up to a 10th degree black belt level. But testing and having these belt categories is not only a test for the students, but it's also a test to see how good the instructor is and his ability to teach his students.
This is the moment these kids have waited for. A time when each one being promoted can reflect back on the hours of training leading up to this achievement. They've earned the new rank and they know it. phases of the martial arts, here too there is a tradition and ritual. Promotion is a form of rebirth, and in birth there is pain. When we advance the kids to a higher rank, they experience this pain in the form of a traditional kick to boost them on. Each child is taught how to breathe properly, so if they are hit in the ribs, the lower stomach, or the chest area, they can withstand the blow. Forcing the air into the lower part of the stomach while exhaling from the mouth makes the body strong. As internal organs are protected from the blow and muscles tense up, the body becomes a fortress and great stability is added to their stances. Even though my kick is symbolic, actually a push rather than a blow, the kids want it as much as they do the belt. It's a great source of pride and accomplishment to tell their families and friends that they receive not only the promotion and rank, but the initiation kick that goes with that promotion. step further. After the bow, we add the handshake, the Western acknowledgement of respect and camaraderie. Make sure you guys give each one a proper bow. I feel it's tougher for kids growing up today than it's ever been. Martial arts training, a program promoting physical conditioning, mental alertness, and self-confidence, discipline, and respect can better prepare these youngsters for adulthood. Now that you've had some insights in terms of Kempo and have seen some of the children and what they can do, perhaps you're wondering whether you could do it also. Yes, you can. This art is not restricted any age, nor is it restricted to sex. Each and every one of you can learn the martial arts. And with today's environment, it's a necessary Endeavor to study the martial arts, no matter what style or system, you could also perform these movements if you but try. <laughs> 